I'm Jennifer Pulley, and welcome to NASA Connect, the show that connects you to math, science, technology, and NASA. On today's episode, we're filming on location in France. Voila! As you can see, France is a beautiful European country that is rich in culture and history. Here's a quick tour of some of the places we've seen during our trip to France. As you can see, France is a great place to visit, especially when you have nice weather. Speaking of the weather, what is one of the first things you want to know when you wake up in the morning? Well, if you're like me, you'll think, hmm, wonder what the weather's going to be like today. You depend on information about the weather for a variety of reasons. You need to decide what to wear to school, and you need to plan for after-school activities if they're outdoors. Do you realize that the weather in the United States can have a significant effect on what the weather will be like here in France? Storms heading eastward from the Atlantic coast can bring wind and rain to Europe a few days later. We truly live in a global society where we all are interconnected in some way. Today's program will focus on predicting weather and climate change. You will learn that we need to work together internationally to answer some of the questions that Earth scientists from around the world ask every day. But before we get to those questions, let's first learn about the fundamentals of weather and climate. During the course of the program, you will be asked to answer several inquiry-based questions. After the questions appear on the screen, your teacher will pause the program to allow you time to answer and discuss the questions. This is your time to explore and become critical thinkers. Students working in groups take a few minutes to answer the following questions. How is weather different from climate? List and discuss various kinds of weather you have experienced. What are some factors that determine weather? What climate do you live in? It's now time to pause the program and answer the questions. Okay guys, let's talk about weather. Basically, weather is the daily condition of the Earth's atmosphere. Weather is produced by the interaction of several factors, which include heat, air pressure, winds, and moisture. Let's briefly look at each one of those factors. Heat, transferred from the sun, is absorbed by the Earth and spread through the atmosphere. Air temperature varies from place to place because the sun's rays strike the earth at different angles. Air pressure is the measure of the force of the air pressing down on the earth's surface. Air pressure depends on the density of the air. Denser air exerts more pressure than less dense air. Air pressure on the earth can vary considerably from location to location due to unequal heating of the atmosphere. These air pressure differences cause the movement of air, which we call wind. Finally, the amount of moisture in the air, called relative humidity, also influences weather. Moisture in the atmosphere condenses, causing clouds to develop and precipitation to fall to the earth. So, have you come up with the difference between weather and climate? I said earlier that weather is the daily condition of the earth's atmosphere, but what about climate? Well, for most of us, climate means a location is hot, cold, wet, or dry. You see, climate is the average weather conditions for a specific region over an extended period of time. The climate of any place is determined by two main factors, temperature and precipitation. The Earth is divided into three major climate zones based on the average temperature of these zones. They are the tropical, temperate, and polar zones. Can you determine what climate zone you live in? To learn more about weather and climate, check out the following NASA website. 